Shalom, and welcome to our video for, for Parshas B'Shalach, for Shabbos Shira, the Shabbos of Song, 5777. Song, it's beautiful, it's inspirational, it's moving. And Moshe Rabbeinu, this week, leads the Jewish people in song. So what precipitates this outpouring of emotion? So it's, of course, the Kriyas Yamsuf, the splitting of the sea. But our Hasidic masters say it's much deeper than that. What comes immediately before the words, Az Yashir, then Moshe Rabbeinu will sing? So the Torah tells us two phrases. Vayaminu Bashem Moshe Avdo. They believed in God and in Moshe Rabbeinu, in Moshe, his servant. Our Hasidic masters have such beautiful insights. On the first hand, the region of Rebbe says, Vayaminu Bashem. You know why Moshe Rabbeinu sang? Because he understood that the people reached the level of emuna, of feeling the presence of Hashem. And there's no greater cause for joy in song than feeling the presence of Hashem, feeling emuna. On the other hand, the Hele Gedegel Machne Ephraim, he suggests it's B'Moshe Avdo. When Moshe Rabbeinu realized that he finally had achieved the stature of being an Eved Hashem, of being a true servant of God, that's what brought the song forth. And the truth is, these are not contradictory, they're complementary. When a person feels that they have that sense of emuna, that brings incredible joy, that can bring song. And also when a person realizes that they are in the service of Hashem, they're playing that true role that their neshama feels, that also brings the source of song. So it's not just the Kriyas Yamsuf, it's the deep sense of emuna and avdus, the service of Hashem that enables us in our lives to sing our own shira, to sing our song. Shabbat Shalom.